hope you're doing well today. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today we're going to make chicken and rice, I guess you call it casserole, chicken and rice bake. I haven't decided where I'm going to name yet, but I'm going to use uh, bone-in skin on chicken thighs, which I don't usually use, but I'm going to try to use them uh, more often because they are cheaper for one reason. Uh, sometimes they have a better flavor. It just depends on the dish. But anyway, tonight we're going to try this recipe. I've never done it before. I've been wanting to make it for a very long time. I, I think I'm going to start, uh, and you could totally skip this part, but I am going to start, I want to cook my onions, my onions and my pavlona pepper or, or in my vegetables on the stove first. You could also sear your chicken on the stove first, but the first thing that we have to do, and of course I'm running late today, so bear with me, but we're going to season our chicken. That's the most important thing. Because uh, you want the, I, oh, I want to let the seasoning sit on there for a little while, but I have my oven preheated and I have my ingredients laid out. I just need to make sure I get the ratio. It doesn't have to be perfect. You know, if you have a little, it's a little uh, moist or what's the word, juicy. Anyway, it's going to be, it's going to taste good. So anyway, let's get started and let's season and that use chicken. Use the seasonings of your choice. I thought about just using, to make it really simple, just use some Cajun seasoning, but I might sprinkle a little bit of that on there too. But anyway, I trim these. They look really nice. Uh, I like to trim the extra fat off of chicken thighs. And they are getting to room temperature because they're actually sitting on my oven and I need to move them. But anyway, let's go ahead and season them. So first I'm going to start with a little kosher salt. And uh, I'm excited to make this. Uh, I could probably do it in a baking dish or my cast iron a Dutch oven, either one, but I haven't even decided if I'm going to sear the chicken yet. I might just throw it all in the baking dish, but I have those Vidalia onions that I've been cooking with. If you watch my channel the last couple of videos, you know I've been using them and loving them. So I might saute those a minute, but this is going to cook for a while. So you can totally skip that step because it's going to cook in the oven. And of course I have lots of garlic. I also want to make that recipe uh, that I've seen around called 40 cloves of garlic chicken, but I don't really want to use 40 cloves. My pepper grinders kind of makes you work out a little bit. I'm going to add just a little bit of lemon pepper today. I used to never like lemon pepper when I was younger. And I've acquired a taste for it. It's actually pretty good, but I don't want to, I don't want it to overpower. I just like a little bit. And of course we're gonna add a little uh, garlic powder. Like you know, you just season to your taste. And I usually I would remove I would move the skin up and, and season under the chicken. Under the skin, I'm sorry. But I'm kind of running a little late because some days it takes me all day just to figure out what I want to make. And I know, because I just have so many recipes floating around in my mind. I don't know why I just closed all those, because I have to reuse them. I want to use some smoked, pap smoked paprika. Um, you could also use regular paprika. I'm just going to, it won't give it too much of a smoky flavor, but it add a little bit. And I love this flavor. And also for color. I want my chicken to be really a pretty color. That's what I'm, that's what I'm going for anyway. We'll see what happens. So anyway, I want that on, on my chicken. I'm gonna leave that open. So let's flip it over. You always want to season both sides. I think you should. Oh, I thought about frying. I have some other. I bought a, a whole pack of chicken thighs for like nine dollars, and uh, I really would like to fry some. Uh, but I'd have to. I want to marinate that kind of overnight. So see, they look pretty good, don't they? And this is the best stuff to make chicken stock with. I'm going to do that also. Like I said, I have a lot of plans. It's just executing them. And I'm not going to add a, a ton of salt because I'm going to be using chicken stock. And it uh, is the salted, it's the salted kind. It's the kind I always use, uh, the kitchen basics. Um, I might mix it with a little water. We'll see. I'm kind of... <clears throat> experimenting so this is uh, kind of one of the cook with me videos which I've been doing lately and I hope you guys have been enjoying it I really enjoy cooking this way uh, I love experimenting with new recipes the only thing about this kind of recipe is you have to have a lot of patience for it to bake in the oven 
because you want the rice to be cooked properly. And you could also use poor boiled rice. I thought about buying some of that earlier when I went to Kroger, but I didn't. I go to Kroger uh, quite often. They know me there because I buy way too much kombucha tea. I need to start making my own because I'm spending too much money, actually. But I love the pineapple peach flavor. It's my favorite. And if I could get in my own to, to uh, be as carbonated as the store-bought, I'd definitely do it. So I need to try it again, especially this time of the year. You know what I forgot? I'm going to have to flip it back over and put my parsley, which is totally optional. Let me try to rub that in. Flip this over. I'm just going to sprinkle a little parsley on here. And then we're going to move this pan, and I'm going to turn my pot on. And, uh, I'm sorry I keep reaching over. Turn my pot on and, uh, start heating it up to salty my vegetables. And like I said, you could totally skip that step. If you want to just throw everything in the pan, it's, uh, just fine. Okay. So let me move my chicken over and uh, we'll get started sauteing the onions. A little butter in here that I'll, I'll let brown just a tiny bit in olive oil. And this is, this is about two Vidalia onions. You could use red onion, Spanish onion, whatever onion you have. I'm just going to saute these just a little. And I'm going to add, this is a pavano uh, pepper that I had in the freezer that I need to use also. And I'm going to go get some celery out of my other freezer because I chopped that up yesterday and I need to use a little bit of that. And of course I have lots of garlic in here and we're going to add quite a bit because uh, it's going to be garlic and rice and chicken just go so well together. And if it were a perfect world, I would have seasoned that chicken about an hour ago. But I didn't, so it's, it's okay because... It's going to be cooking in a little bit of a sauce, so it's going to have a lot of flavor. I think I'm going to go with two cups of rice. And uh, I think I'm going to use this baking dish here. This is a 13 by 9, and it's a little bit deep, and I've sprayed it already. And I could not believe this, but I am out of cream of chicken soup. Is this the celery? I could make my own. Yes, this is celery. I could make my own. But uh, I'm going to take the shortcut. I'm going to just grab the cream of celery because I'm using the uh, chicken stock anyway, so it's going to be fine. This is some celery that I had, and I love to chop the leaves up as well. I find them so pretty, and they just have so much flavor. So if you ever have the leaves, you might want to save them. Let's add just a pinch of salt. It's going to be beautiful. You could also put carrots in here. Uh, whatever vegetables you prefer. And I also have a little bit of a tomato chicken bouillon cube that I don't use all the time, but I've been using it a little bit lately. Uh, I like the color and I like the flavor. This is half one. I used half one in, in another recipe. So I'm just going to kind of break that up. Uh, you could use bell pepper for sure. You know how sometimes we don't use the bell pepper because we don't like the peelings. Uh, I do like the flavor, however, and I bought some on sale the other day. I like to cook that, the onion and stuff. I like to coat that in the bouillon cube. So we're not going to do this too, too long. And let's see. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of fresh thyme. My thyme's still alive. Thank, thank the good Lord. Uh, the tomato, the hail damage, they just, they're having, they're producing flowers, but I just, I'm just waiting to see what happens, but I don't think anything's going to happen. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of thyme. Now, this is totally up to you. Um, if you were using dry thyme, I'd use way less, but chicken, thyme, and rice go really well together. And Ella washed that for me. That's why it's wet. So this is almost... About where I want it. I just wanted a little bit of color on my onions. And 
I'm totally depressed because I don't have a jalapeno. We didn't have, Ella wouldn't chop it for me because she was scared that her fingers were gonna burn. And I didn't have time. So it's her fault, y'all. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll be back. Here's the garlic. This is, uh, actually this is about two heads of garlic. But I'm, I want a lot today. And I'm gonna add a touch more olive oil because my stuff is sticking. But you want that little bit of brown coloring. And what we're gonna do is, I'm going to uh, measure, I'm gonna use two cups of rice. So I'm actually going to measure some chicken stock. Let me taste this cream of celery. Well, it's pretty good. Ella was supposed to get me the measuring cup. I need the measuring cup. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour two cups to be glazed in my pan. And you know, you usually salt your rice anyway. So that's two. So now we're gonna add the rest of this which is close to three. So let me add just a touch of water. Ellie, can you put me another chicken stock out of the, the uh, pantry? Please. Okay, let me pour that in. I'm making a mess today. We're gonna go ahead and put this in here. You know, I could cook this whole dish in this pot on the stove or in the oven. Oh, I don't want to get that on my shirt. I don't have many shirts that I like, guys. <laughs> okay. So let me heat this through just for a second, dissolve my celery soup. No, no not yet, Ella. And then we'll, we'll uh, mix the rice in. We're going to add turmeric, parsley, and then we'll... Okay, guys. I'll show you. I turn the heat off. I'm going to basically put my rice in here. And I probably could use more rice, but I'm only gonna use two cups. But I'm gonna add turmeric. I love turmeric in my rice. I love the color it gives. I love the flavor it gives. And it also has health bene bene benefits as well. And I, I just add enough to, actually, this is almost, why can't you get the all the seasoning out of the dang jars? Look at that. Oh well, that's good. Let's add a little black pepper. Black pepper goes really well. You could add some cream of mushroom, cream of chicken. Um, I might add another cream soup. I haven't decided yet. I have a cream of bacon also. That, that would be just fine. Any cream of soup would really work well. I'm gonna add a little bit more parsley to this. going to add salt of course let's add just a little bit more because you want to flavor that rice onion powder and you can season it with your favorite seasoning and I didn't use any Cajun seasoning today I uh, feel like I should have put a sprinkle but I didn't that's okay it goes really well with chicken Cajun seasoning garlic powder so that that should do that should be just right. And I love the vegetables. Red bell pepper would have been really pretty in here. But I'll make stuff those actually. Okay, this might be a little bit dangerous. I'm gonna pour this over my rice and then I'm gonna judge the liquid versus the rice. And I may, I may have to add more liquid or more rice or this is kind of a, I kind of measured it, but you know, and I just throw it in here. You know what? I'm gonna get a little bit more rice. I'm sorry, I'm usually more prepared than this. Oh, by the way, we use medium grain rice and all the recipes call for long grain rice. I am going to add 
one more cup because I like to live dangerously. And no, I um, forgot to rinse it. I'm very sorry. So please don't leave any mean comments. I just forgot. It's just fine. This is very hot. Whew. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. That is awesome. Let's give this a little stir. Excuse my body. And I probably live too dangerously because now it's probably too full. We're going to just put the chicken on top. I'm going to watch this very closely. And if I think I need to add more liquid, I will. Or if it's a little bit soupy at the end, that's okay. As long as we can eat it. As long as it has, the most important thing is the flavor. I actually didn't want the chicken to be submerged that much, but that's okay. Let's just say a prayer that this comes out well. And now uh, today is my brother's birthday, and I am supposed to be making him. Oh, look at that. I totally, I totally buried it. <laughs> That's okay. So let's just put it in the oven, and I'm, I'm going to leave it uncovered. And uh, I'll show you. Well, let's, let's let it go for 45 minutes, and then uh, I'll check it and let you see what it looks like. And then we'll go from there. Because this is kind of like we're all learning together. Now, if some people have... Uh, some people probably are experts at this, but this, I'm not, but this is my first time. I probably should have practiced this first. I'm going to add a little bit of butter just because I like the richness it gives. There we go. And my butter salt. So, anyway, we'll be okay, back. Hey guys, I just took it out and I checked the chicken to make sure that it regis registers 165 or over and it, it is cooked. This is, uh, also, let's get, this is the exact consistency I was going for. I am so excited right now. Uh, look at this beautiful skin. I'm just, I'm so excited. And the crust are on the edges. And uh, actually, I dug in the rice a couple of minutes ago. But you can see it's, let's make sure it's cooked all the way though. And look at the bottom, it's perfect. It didn't stick, it didn't burn. Uh, I really like the uh, turmeric. So let's take a, let me take a, just a little taste to make sure the rice is cooked. I want to double check before I uh, let my oven get cold again because I turned it off. Because it was 95 degrees today. That's what my car said. I've been wanting to make this for so long. I was kind of intimidated, but I knew, I knew I could do it. <laughs> and I knew it would be, and I knew, oh, you can tell me. And I knew it would be delicious. I think this is this is going to be one of my favorite recipes. And uh, it took me 45 minutes. I believe convection is a little bit quicker. Um, if you were using the normal oven, I would do 350 at probably an hour. This is really hot. Oh, my goodness. It's perfectly done. And there's so much flavor. You can spice it up any way you like. It's so good. So, it's probably good to let it rest for a little while, but we're not going to do that because it's, it's a supper time and we're hungry, but I need a good picture. So, I will be back and then we'll show you what a, the inside of the chicken thigh looks like. So, okay, here's the chicken. Oh, look how moist and tender it is. That's, I'm so glad I'm starting to use chicken thighs sometimes because they are more tender than a breast, that's for sure. And they're just cheaper, and they, they're just good. I like, so I'm going to start using both. But the rice is, is so good. Cooked with the chicken. It has so much flavor. And uh, if you need, like, a good comfort dish, you know, one-pot dish, you could totally not have to saute the onions. I'm so excited for this. Mm. I have to be honest. I think this is one of my favorite things I've ever made. I'm so pleased. This is a, one of the, it's at the top of my list. 
So I hope you enjoyed this recipe in the video. If you have any questions, please leave them below. Please subscribe for more del delicious recipes or cook with me's or whatever you like. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.